Cyberpunk 2077 needs a lot of cash and if you've put any time into this game you know how easily you can spend it and how quickly it is just gone and now you have to start all over. So in today's episode I want to show you guys the best opportunities to make money, eddies, euro dollars, dinero, whatever you want to call it because it's all basically the same thing so that you guys can buy whatever you need to buy here in Night City. Maybe you're looking at buying that new motorcycle or another vehicle. Maybe you want to buy that new article of clothing because it's going to give you a little bit of an edge with armor. Maybe you want some of that latest and greatest cyberware from the Ripper Dock, or maybe you just want a brand new weapon. In today's guide, we're going to go over some of the best ways of earning cashola so that you guys won't be broke anymore. Now, before we dive into all the money aspects of Cyberpunk 2077, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys are sharing these videos with everyone that you know, especially if they want to be able to make some money, and everywhere that you possibly can because, hey, who doesn't want to make money? And honestly, it helps me grow here on YouTube. And eventually, I do want to be able to do some giveaways here on the channel. And that's going to be the best way that I can go ahead and do that. So if you guys want some free stuff here on this channel, make sure that you guys go in and do those things that I just got done mentioning. Well, and, and along with watching these videos in their entirety. That would help me out a lot as well. Now, before we actually get into all of the nitty gritty with actually making money here in Cyberpunk 2077, there are a couple things that I do need to go over so that you guys can make it easier on yourselves in order to make more money faster. Now, the first thing that I want to be able to stress, and I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do this as soon as you possibly can, which you can pretty much right at the beginning of the game, as long as you have one per point to be able to spend, which is only going to be after a couple missions, either the main missions or a couple of the side missions, then you guys will actually be able to unlock the pack mule. Now, you only need a level body of three. In my case, I have a level body of four, and this will increase your carrying capacity by 60. I don't remember what the default is off the top of my head anymore. I bought this instantly as soon as I possibly could. I literally, I think I was only playing it for not even an hour, saw this, and I wanted it. So this one is one that I highly recommend. Now, another thing that you can actually go ahead and do is if we actually go over to your inventory into your cyberware and take a look at the skeleton here, there is a possibility to be able to find titanium bones. There are three of them. There's a common, uncommon, and rare. There's no epic and there's no legendary when it comes to the titanium bones, but it does increase your carrying capacity by 20, 40, or 60%, depending on which one that you find. You can buy these. In my case, I was actually lucky enough to be able to find this. I equipped it, no problem, right? However, there is one thing that I do want to let you guys know. If you do find the rare component, of the titanium bones this does require a level body of 13 so you will have to wait a while before you can actually go ahead and equip it unless you're only specifically focusing on a body style uh, build now as far as the next one goes we need to be talking about the intelligence uh, attribute point here that you guys are going to want to put a little bit of time and energy into as well because this will seriously help you guys make a lot more money a lot quicker now, there are two that you do need to focus on. Number one is the advanced data mine. You can see that I'm currently a level two in this, and that's the maxed out capability. So this upgrade of the data mine demon increases the amount of Euro dollars acquired from access points by 50% if you have a level one. If you upgrade it to a level two by basically using two perk points, then you can actually increase it by 100%. Now, do keep in mind that you do need five intelligence attributes. So in my case, I have a level seven, and then you'll be able to actually go ahead and pour two attributes into the advanced data mine. Now, the next one that I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do is the extended network interface, which automatically highlights nearby access points, which makes this one absolutely amazing. Now, you do need to have a level seven of intelligence in order to basically put a perk into this so do keep that in mind if this is something that you want to do but if you are very close to an access point in some cases there are three or more access points in even side missions or side jobs and even some of the access points that are available in some of the main missions so 
it, this is hugely helpful because it will show up on your HUD and it will actually have an arrow pointing up or pointing down if it's above you or below you. And if there is no arrow, arrow then it is strictly on the same level that you are currently at. And you can find these interfaces very, very easy. Now, eventually when you get into doing these, you're gonna be playing a little bit of a mini game and we're gonna go over that here in just a moment. Now, Night City is absolutely massive and there are a lot of things to be able to do in here. And that's what we're gonna be talking about right in this segment of making money. Now, basically you have the main missions, which are gonna be the yellow with the black exclamation point. And then you have the side jobs, which are gonna be the black with the yellow exclamation point. But then you have a lot of other activities that you guys can go ahead and participate. There's question marks, you know, it's undiscovered. So we don't really know what is going on over here. But we also have assaults in progress, which are basically neutralized the preps and secured the evidence by any means necessary. And the cops will not be able to be involved. We also have like, the suspected organized crime and each of these activities are different things that you guys can go ahead and do where the cops actually don't get involved and you can do whatever you want and there are so many things that you guys will be able to loot especially these ones these ends are huge and they do take a little bit of time but the looting possibilities to make a lot of money very quickly is awesome Plus, usually in almost all of these areas, there is an access point nearby, which will allow you to actually generate that much more income as long as you use the two things that I talked about earlier, the advanced data mine and also the extended network interface. Now, the other thing that I'm quickly just going to show on this map here right now is talking a little bit about the side jobs. When you guys are basically traveling around Night City, do not use the fast travel locations. I highly recommend that you either ride a bike, drive a vehicle, or honestly, just basically sprint everywhere that you possibly can. Because when you get to certain areas within the map, a side mission or a side activity will actually be either presented by either calling you or a message will be sent to your phone. And that's how you guys are gonna get all these different side missions. So I highly recommend that you do not use any of the fast travel locations when you guys are traveling around Night City. Now, we already kind of talked a little bit about doing everything that you possibly can in the game, but specifically, we're going to be looking at the access points right now. So in one of the areas that I was called upon for the NCPD activity to actually participate in, this is one of the mini games that you guys are going to be able to be presented with in order to make a ton of money very quickly. Now, there are access points literally everywhere, and you guys can actually, in most cases, do all of the sequences that are required to upload. However, if you can't do all three of them, you can always close out. Otherwise, you want to focus on at least the level three version of it because that will give you the most components and the most amount of money possible. But like I just got done saying, it, it is very possible in most cases to do all three of the levels, which will drastically increase your pay and the amount of materials that you'll actually receive from participating inside of these mini games. Now, if you guys make a mistake, it's okay. You guys can actually go ahead and close out of it. However, I do need to forewarn you guys, if you complete at least one row and back out of it, then the mini game is done. You cannot go back into it. So if you make a mistake, close out of it before finishing at least one of those sections because you won't be able to restart it. And that's all you guys need to do. So if you make a mistake, it's fine. Just close out of it. Just don't finish a single specific row. Now, moving on to the last thing is literally looting everybody. I know that I've already kind of talked about this, but make sure that you loot and pick up everything that you possibly can. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go through the items that you just got done, basically recovering and looting and keep the things that you guys want to go ahead and be able to keep. So in this case, you're going to want to go ahead and, you know, change out your inventory, maybe put on different clothing on your character to get a little bit better armor, maybe change the guns around, maybe disassemble them so you guys can keep some of the components, whatever it's going to be. And then whatever you don't want, you're going to take it to the vending machine and go ahead and sell off as much as you possibly can, because that will give you guys a lot of money. Now, I believe it's in this portion of it that I did it or maybe it was an earlier part that I turned in like 20 junk items and it netted me like 
$3,000 just for picking up like some of the studded dildos or some of the crazy things that you actually find around Night City from time to time. But anyway, hopefully this does help you guys make quite a bit of money here in Night City. Unfortunately, there is no way of just going, hey, I want to make a million dollars within Cyberpunk 2077. And honestly, I like it this way than any other way to be completely honest. But if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.